Another challenging issue in SDH when it comes to sound descriptions, and something that the beginners of the struggle with, is deciding which sounds to include and what the sounds are more plot per which sounds are more plus pertinent and should be prioritized. And this to many uh, subtitles seems a bit uh, subjective. How do you balance providing enough detail in captions while also ensuring readability and not overloading viewers with too much information? We have seen some uh, deaf or hard of hearing viewers complaining that they get lots of sound descriptions which are redundant for them and perhaps distract them from what's going on on the screen. Like I say, and that I've mentioned this a few times now today because it's something I'm always talking about and preaching about, it's especially in my beginning um, years of my career and working in SDH, I found myself in a similar situation where you have to really consider what, what is needed here. and. With descriptors, I always say, and it's the intention, it has to be, think of the intention, was that, what is the sound there for? Is it there just to be completely um, atmospheric? Is it is it there just to be, for the sake of being there? If someone bumps their elbow on a table and it makes a tiny little thud, we've seen them bump the elbow. Does that thud really need to be presented in, in, as a sound descriptor? In most cases, probably not. But for example, is there's a, a massive crash and that you can't see on screen, of course, we're prioritizing that. Um, so, like I say, if, if I had advice for any beginner in this industry, it's really focus on the intention of sound and consider that same process when you go and create the files. However, I understand that, like you, like you say, there's so many subjectives that come with this, and I think just more collaboration with the people doing the job and the people who are using the service, um, the dev community. I think if we continue collaboration, we're going to go and bring the lines closer together and um, create a more unified approach, I suppose.